I'd like to wish you all a very happy new year and hope, like me, you've had the opportunity to reconnect with your closest family and friends. Last year, I look back on 21 as one of the most challenging faced by Hertfordshire residents and the County Council. As we moved into 22, we started the year again fighting off COVID, this time the Omicron variant. But with our COVID recovery programme, we put the worst behind us. Whilst all the clouds gathered, Russia attacking Ukraine, driving millions to escape across Europe, a huge spike in prices was a huge and ongoing shock. The impact was felt by everyone, including your council. We extre experienced extreme heat in the summer with record demand on the fire service, and we continue to accommodate those arriving from so many parts of the world. The passing of Her Majesty the Queen was a shock to us all, with many only having known her as monarch for all of her lifetime. Reading the books of condolence that are now in the Hertfordshire archives, seeing the floral tributes, and hearing memories at a special memorial council meeting, it really hit home the affection felt by so very many. It was an honour for County Hall to host the proclamation of His Majesty King Charles III, and my deepest thanks to all those who worked so hard to bring such flawless ceremony to our county. Closer to home, we sadly lost someone very dear to us all. In December, Councillor Judy Billing passed away. Recognised by Her Majesty with an MBE, Judy dedicated her life to local government, committed to improving the lives of everyone she represented. Sharon Taylor was elevated to the House of Lords as Baroness Taylor of Stevenage, a testimony to her personal drive to rebuild Stevenage, a town now known for bioscience, satellites and sky-high aspirations. In Broxbourne, Boreham Wood, Bovington and Garston, TV, film and media studios expanded or moved in to continue making Hertfordshire a global production phenomenon. Despite the varied challenges we face this year, we can look back with immense pride at the way in which the County Council has risen to the occasion, but we haven't done it alone. You, the people of Hertfordshire, have stepped in and played your part. As many of us watched the terrible scenes emerging from Ukraine in February, hundreds of you opened your homes to those fleeing the indiscriminate attacks. Your response was and continues to be a lifeline for the nearly 3,000 Ukrainians who now call our county home. And we will need more of you as time goes on. But you didn't stop there. You've taken up our offer of free trees in your thousands. A small step that will help make a big difference as they capture and store carbon. Our commitment to a cleaner, greener Hertfordshire with the highest standards of development remains undimmed. As we move into 2023, many of the issues we face, such as demand for our services, finding ever more great staff to support the increasing need and making ends meet, will continue to focus our minds. Government has given us a very fair settlement for care and other services. Our finances are in good shape, so our commitment to the most vulnerable with our partners in health, the voluntary sector and district colleagues remains strong. Local government and all our partnership arrangements can sometimes seem confusing, but through COVID, emergency migration and cost of living, we now work closer, better, with confidence across all our communities. We can always do more as a council, but together we do the most. Happy New Year.